The NHS faces an enormous challenge in tackling the elective care waiting list. There are now more than six million people on that waiting list. Now is the perfect time to get provider chiefs together to discuss that challenge and work out ways to solve it. All the sectors of the health and social care environment need to play their part. And we've heard a lot about how it's important to take that integrated approach to solving the problem. The biggest challenge that faces is just the breadth of the agenda. And now we're dealing with all the recovery that needs to happen quite rightly through cancer, through elective. We've still got high levels of COVID patients within our hospitals. We've got a workforce that is very tired and we've got financial pressures building up. I am optimistic that that integrated care will help. It's going to be tough, but we will get there. I think we have an obligation to share good practice. A huge part of our integration journey has been from borrowing examples of good practice from elsewhere. So I'm keen to share that back. I really want to take back the issue around volunteering and working in partnership in the true sense of the word and looking at what's happening with our workforce. That's been really helpful for me, hearing from different parts of the country how they've managed to get through it and some of the challenges they've had. When you get people into a good place in their working life, that not only translates into safer care for patients, but also will help them with any struggles that they have in their personal life. We need to be finding a balance between what works for the organisation and what works for the individual and I think flexibility working as a way through that. As an NHS provider, which is one of the largest employment systems within the United Kingdom, we have to change to adapt to support our staff. and We have to find roles to support our staff doing what they want. I was surprised how often urgent and emergency care came up in the summit, even in the sessions that weren't actually about it. It is clearly very high on people's agendas. It's not working and we need to fix it. The NHS has been short of inpatient capacity for a long time and virtual wards can offer an opportunity to increase our capacity in a way that patients are really fond of. It's really crucial that AHSNs play a central role in the major transformation projects which the NHS will need to look at over the next five to ten years. So today's a good time to be able to meet with a lot of colleagues and begin those conversations. We've all been in a very different way of working, haven't we, over the last two years? But it feels great to be back in an in-person event. That face-to-face -face contact, being able to really understand what people are thinking and saying is so important. This feels more like a conversation than a PowerPoint-driven conference. This is about how do we make deeper connections with other leaders across the healthcare system. There are lots of colleagues from the NHS, but they're all also colleagues from local authorities and from the third sector. That's how we build partnerships that are going to really deliver change across the system.